All right. So next up, uh, where the hell is Yasuhiro again? The Guardian, I'm guessing. Yeah, let's talk to him before we get to the AV room. It seems like it's very important to discuss about what he, what first off, what he saw in the Headmaster hints. That's the dojo. There it is. And secondly, about the locker room that he's in. Which I am very curious about. Unless this is one of those like stupid stunts that he did. It better not be. Alright, that's a hero. We need to talk, dude. Hey, hero. Ah! My Makoto! What's going on with you? Every time I see you, you freak out like that. Uh, um... No, I... Uh... No! Sorry, but I'm gonna... Jesus Christ. I still wasn't able to talk to him about the notebook I found. It's, it was like he was avoiding me. Like he was afraid of me. Why? <sighs> Alright, is he in a different location this time? No. If he is, I'm not seeing it so far. Oh god, everything on the fourth floor is just completely done. <laughs> This is where the AV room is as well, isn't it? Or is that the first floor? First floor, okay. Let's check out the AV room first, actually, before we talk to uh, Byakuya. And wherever the fuck is going on with Yasuhiro, we don't know, but that's probably gonna be that for later. Okay. Okay. Uh, how do we... Here we go. I think. This should be able to play DVDs just fine. Well then, I better take a look. I took the DVD Coco gave me and put it into the player. It said that it was playing, but nothing appeared on screen. I started... I stared into a bla the black of the monitor. Must have only been a few seconds. But to me, it felt like an eternity. And then all of a sudden, an image appeared. Sayaka? It took me a, by total surprise. I hadn't seen Sayaka in who knows how long, and okay, there she was. Then. Are you ready to begin? The voice I heard was the man positioned on one side of the screen. It was the voice of a middle-aged man. I apologize, but I hope you don't mind if I record our conversation. I'm a little slow, you know. I never really got the hang of taking notes while having a conversation. It sounded like he was trying to make a joke, but Saika's tense face didn't move a single millimeter. So this video is meant to serve as a kind of contract substitute. It's not that I don't trust you guys. It's more like... insurance. So please don't worry too much. Okay. Now then, let me get straight to the point. There is a chance that you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Um... You want me to accept that? Um, I don't know. I'm just going by what they, the voice actor more from what the looks might sound like. Saga like was obviously at a total loss. It made total sense. Who would want to agree to spend the rest of the life in the school? I accept. What? Thank you. And I'm sorry about all this. Well, I can promise you that I will do everything in my power to keep you safe. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, I give you my word. Okay. As if on cue, that's where the video cut out. Is this the part where we got like amnesia or something in the middle of like entering the school and then, God damn it, YouTube shut up, and fainting out in a classroom? Alright, that's Saika. Huh? I'm guessing there's everyone else in the video too. There's a lot I can't understand up until now. But this, only this. I simply couldn't comprehend what I heard. Because I know how much Saika wanted to get out of here. I know how much she wanted to escape and pursue her dream with her friends again. She wanted that so badly. She tried to frame me for murder. So why? Why would she say yes to living here for the rest of her life? As I sat they were thinking about it, I noticed a sudden light. On a monitor of the video that I thought was finished flashed back on screen. I started back to the screen. There's another person, and I was even more confused than before. What I saw next pushed me right over the edge. 
Is this Leon or is this someone else? Oh, hey, what up? It's me! What up, n***a? Oh god, well, I, I probably said that. I'm sorry. I, I apologize for saying, <laughs> saying that word. Okay, uh... What I saw was... Me. Possibly, undeniably, so, me. Makoto, before we begin, I should let you know that I'll be recording our conversation. Yes. Me and the headmaster were looking at each other, and I were, ha I were, he and I were having what seemed like a fairly normal conversation. But I, the I in the here and now, had absolutely no memory of it. I had no. God, okay, I really gotta put this thing somewhere else or something. I had no memory of even meeting the headmaster, much less, ooh, excuse me, sitting down and talk to him like this. Shall we get straight to the point, Makoto? There's a chance you may have to spend the rest of your life here in the school. Can you accept that? Yes. I confidently said yes. God damn it, you're like, this can't be real. I said I'm yes. I'm sorry I'm putting you through all this. Well, I mean, we don't have much of a choice, do we? But I promise that as long as you're in this school, I will do everything I can to protect you. As the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, that's the very least I can do for you. Okay. Once again, the video cuts out. From there, the video repeats the same scene again and again with the others. Yakuya? Toko? Hina? Everyone. They all said that they'd agree to live in this school forever. And then. Kyoko. Her interview with him had been recorded just as clearly. Without a doubt, she hadn't met him. She'd sat down with the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy, her father. And when she he asked her this question, she answered the same as everyone else. She accepted a life within the school. Just as Kyoko's interview was wrapping up, the monitor suddenly went black. Huh? It wasn't just the monitors. The DVD player itself had apparently turned off. Which of course meant the DVD wasn't playing anymore. What the heck just happened? Say what? Oh fuck my ball sack. Oopsie! Looks like it broke! Out of service! What? It just so happened to break just Too now? Bad. Now then, when... Now then, when doesn't matter, failure can strike anywhere, anytime. That's... That's what failure is, right? Do I at least get the DVD back? Failure, my ass, you cut the power on purpose! Well, whatever. Even if I had watched the whole thing, it'd just be more of the same. I can ask them this question, and then they all say yes. I could help myself. I let huge aspiration sigh, but as I did, I remembered something. That's right. I fainted too, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself. A disconnect. Thinking back on it now, at that point my memory was gone. At that time I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I'd come to the school and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would make you forget all that? It's strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seemed much too convenient. A convenient outcome. Something that seemed too obviously worked in favor of Mastermind. So does that mean I've lost my memory too? What about the others? Have we all forgotten? Or... Well, we already the DVD. We get to get that back right... I still want to talk to Hina. Uh, sorry, not Hina. Yasuhiro. And what about Bi Byakuya too? For anything that has to start, there has to be an end. Oh boy. And if the end comes, then that means it's time for a fresh start. There oh is joy. no night that doesn't have a dawn. Although that dawn is totally pitch black, there is no storm that won't eventually end. Of course, then that leads to drought. But <laughs> as I said, every end is the promise of a new beginning. I'm guessing that's where the sequels Which come in. Why I'm sure we'll get to meet again because the end is only the beginning. Anyway, let's get started. The beginning of the end of the class trial. 
Okay. Everyone gather once again at you know where. Oh boy. <laughs> so this is it. It's about to begin again. The class trial is going to start. The final class trial. The last time all our lives will be on the line. The last time hope and despair are on the line. I don't have a choice. I have to do this. Okay then. This is the end. It's a good thing we're starting off with a, such an energetic music, so... Like, if I save here and the music is not energetic when I load back in the game, I'd be very disappointed. Anyway, so... This has been Basinger313 here. Thank you guys so much for watching. What is that? Watching and stay tuned for the... Sorry, not stay tuned. I'm sorry, uh, wait for the next recording session because I'm probably going to record this on a different day, but wherever that and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be it's gonna be the final episode of Danganronpa at least until I get to the second game and then possibly the third game and I don't know how many fucking games are. there's like also a lot of spin-offs I'm not sure if you guys want me to cover that or not but uh yeah this is it the final showdown and the next recording session so without further ado thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you in the future of my let's plays this is Basinger signing out